to figure out what kind of train wreck this is going to be. <laughs> so, oh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, did we get it? I don't know if we got it. <laughs> Jazz, okay? tell us who we are. And what uh, we're doing this is Warhammered, and we're here for games, drinks, and hijinks. Uh, brought to you by Second Pitch Beer Company. Coming to you uh, in Battle Pub. In, the in living pub. color, I guess, from the Battle Pub Studios. Battle I don't know. From a Battle bunker deep beneath the Battle Pub Studios. There you go. It's deep, deep beneath. Teeth beneath. In the basement of the Alamo. In the be- yeah. Is that Kiwi's bike? I'm Jazz. That's Big Jim, and that's Beer Jim. Try not to get them confused, because if you look at them, it's like looking in a mirror. It's just yeah. it's wild. <laughs> he, he drinks beer. So. It, yeah, there you go. I actually, I called. Jim. Yeah. It, Jim, called me, <laughs> Jim called me yesterday and answered. I was like, if it isn't the sexiest man I know. And Jim goes like, I'm not even the sexiest Jim you know. <laughs> there you go, Thanks, buddy. Pal. No problem. Yeah, you did. You shaved, though. You look good, mm-hmm. buddy. I kind of want to yeah. rub it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, no, I got a, I got a haircut and everything. This, this is not one any of these people. Yeah. That get, they're like, I thought I was watching like a. A yeah, role playing thing, and now we're just no. Um, it is a role playing thing. Just yeah. like a role playing thing. You thought, yeah. All, bears, the, all the kids bears, got their hair cut at the same time, and I like jumped in there. So nice. Like, I like it. Yeah. Well, last we left, we were talking about horrible movies. Uh, well, Dungeons and Dragon horrible. Movies. Okay, how horrible, horrible the Dungeon and Dragon movie is going to be? Segues. And I'm not going to lie. I still hope I'm going to be. I hope I'm going to be wrong. I we really do. Wrong. I just don't think I'm going to be. You're going to you're going to see in about a week or two like reshoots ordered on the no, Dungeons right. and Dragons. I'll be like, yeah, and then this. you're going to be like, oh, so that's that. It doesn't well, look great, but uh, that segue. One of time. our favorite IPs around yeah. here, which is Warhammer. Uh, if you don't know, because you've been living under a rock, uh, Warhammer has its own streaming service called mm-hmm. creatively Warhammer TV. It's I know it's wild. I think they actually call it no Warhammer Plus is the apps. Warhammer, Warhammer TV Plus, yeah. is literally Warhammer the TV is is the Warhammer is the TV is, is literally just a, a streaming service. Yeah, and there's all sorts of shit on it. There's a bunch of cartoons. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's painting tutorials. There's lore. lore there's battle reports. There's all yeah, sorts of yeah. crap on it. Which, by the way, if anybody in that is listening right now, why can't I get a battle report with my Space Wolves yet? I've been I've been on this thing. I've been on a Warhammer TV. No Space Wolf battle report. Because if you notice, their battle reports always support whatever the newest release is. Yeah, I know. So, so like, Space Wolf's like, not getting anything new. That's I why. know. But come on, just throw me a, throw uh, me a bone. It, now, so far, the original media that's on there, great, uh, has been fantastic. Yep. So the Hammer and Bolter series actually did have a Space Wolf episode about yeah. Neo fights yep, becoming yep, a Space yep, Wolf. Yep, watch that. Um, several it was times. really good. Yep. Uh. The Blood Angels one, the Angels of Death show. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was fantastic. Uh, I don't know if you've watched that, Jim, but it's I'm not seeing it's oh, really, really, really good. good. And really then at the good. end of it, they did a supercut, so it's like a two and a half hour movie mm-hmm. of just the entire series, but in one big it's shot. shot. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's gorgeous. It's all black and white except for the color red. The red is the only thing that's been colorized, so it's, it's like fantastic. Schindler's List in yeah. space. Yeah. It's fantastic. And it's really going off for like the same idea. <laughs> it's going to leave all of that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just yeah, just leave alone. that, leave, leave that pile um, on the floor. Yeah. And then they did the interrogator and yeah. they've got, they've got some other stuff that's in there. And they have a bunch of like just um, one shots too. And they've yeah. got the little one shots and all the hammer and bolter stuff is mm. all one shots. So yeah. it's like an anthology series. And right. It's, it's, from the, they had a comic book and then they. Yeah. 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 They so it's out. like the story of Gosgul Thraka and his thing with old Bailey. Mm-hmm. Um, the space wolves episode. Who's, who's dead. Old Bale, yeah, I don't want to. Uh, that's dead. a totally different conversation. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna table um, that one for a while. Fuck, I'm so mad about that. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. Um, so and then they did the one about uh, kind of let's show off how good the assassins are. All the mm-hmm. ones from the uh, yeah, officio yep. assassinorum and all mm-hmm. that kind of stuff. Yep. Um, Hammer and Bolter is. I think there's like one AOS episode, but the rest of it's all 40K. Yeah. Like it's a, all 40K stuff. Yeah. So, there was one AOS where it was just like uh, some like grifter kind of. Uh, it's weird. Yeah. It's fucking weird. But anyways, yeah. uh, if you haven't watched that stuff and you're like, I don't know if it's worth it. It's worth it. The money's worth it. It's like mm-hmm. five bucks a month. It's five bucks a month. Yeah. yeah like yeah. it's, 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 it's totally worth <laughs> it. And then on top it. of the, on top of getting a Warhammer TV, you get also like all of the uh, White Dwarf back order. Back <laughs> yeah. You get that the, online. you get yeah, the you digital get all, catalogs. You get the you digital the catalogs. Episodes, you get all that kind of yeah. stuff. So you, it's, it's pretty neat. Like you it's can, worth it. And especially if you're a lore fan, that's yeah. just, you know. <laughs> and then uh, I did the whole just like paid for the year. Me too. So I get the exclusive minis and stuff too. So those are super dope. I haven't gotten mine yet. 
Well, so I was an early adopter. Like when they announced it, I paid for the year. So I got last year's. I got both of those. I got uh-huh. the the orc and the uh, <coughs> the assassin. I haven't gotten shit. And then uh, and now I just got the notification now that I need to pick my uh, my next mini for shipment or whatever. So good for you. Uh, they're cool, and I, I'm gonna get both because they're because uh, I'm a hoarder. Yeah, <laughs> just addicted to the plastic. It's not even that. Literally, all of my like, my <laughs> exclusives like that, like the collector's edition or the Black Library exclusives mm. or any of that stuff, yeah. they're not even out of the box. I just like have them lined up like on their Ready edges, to go. like their books, <laughs> like they're just like in a shelf, just waiting for me. I to have get uh, I have an Abaddon and a um and a Chaos Terminator. It's like the same thing. Ah. Like I've just one of these days I'm gonna do it. I'll get to it eventually. Yeah. But uh, so, anyways, that brings us to there is a new piece of media coming for. Possibly. Well, Possibly. I guess it's going to be Eisenhorn. Yeah. Yeah. There's been so, talks for years for like an Eisenhorn TV show. So there's an AMD, there's a, wait, whatever the fuck page, AMDB, whatever. IMDB. IMDB fucking page. And there's been one since 21 or 19 when this was first announced. So <clears throat> if you're not familiar who Gregor Eisenhorn is, to me, he's probably the most fleshed out non Primark character in 40K. He's the most far. fleshed out mortal. By far. Yeah. And really, of if you wanted to take five people, we're not going to get into that part of it. Five things, five primarchs, five whatever characters. He's he's probably one of them only because there's nine plus books. There's a ton of short stories. Plus, mm-hmm. the number one author in uh, the Black Library writes him. Mm-hmm. So, but if you're not familiar with Gregor Eisenhorn, he is a, an inquisitor. He is as. Uh, started out as a Xenos uh, Inquisitor. Um, not that that really matters because he bounces around and does a bunch of different things. Um, started out life as he's a psyker. Do we so have to do a spoiler a, alert? Spoiler alert. Uh, I don't spoiler think any of this alert. is not at this alert. point. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> taken by the black ships. Ends up as an Inquisitor. Uh, has a bunch of early success. Does a bunch of different things. And then as life, I mean, the Inquisitors, they run around with a bunch of guys um, doing a bunch of different things. He fights demons. Eventually, he has a crisis of conscience. He ends up using the demons for different purposes, stops a bunch of stuff. Hero of the Imperium. <laughs> Turns <laughs> heretic. Being, yeah. <laughs> heretic. Gets back in the good graces. Gets back out of the good heretic, graces. Non-heretic. His own guy's trying to kill him. Those kinds of things. But he is a well-rounded out character um, through a bunch of different books. And he's also, got a great hat. He's got a great hat. But also, yeah. if, he, if you are new to the lore, good jumping off point. Really? Just, I think so I'm not going to lie. Book is, that's where I kind of started off with. And I'm I thought it was lie. a fantastic book. It is the first one. books I, I wrote. Yeah, I know, great jumping off point. I know the surface level of Eisenhorn. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. not one I've dug yeah. into. So. so I've read most of the stuff. I'm going to reread now. But yeah. if you want to know everything that's at the Imperium is about, and if you can dole it out correctly, and the books do, mm-hmm. you learn everything. You learn yep. about space marines. Yep. Um, so he's a human character. Uh, uh, he's human. He looks roughly middle age, even though he's been around for a couple of centuries at this point. Because you rejuvenate treatments. The yeah, Imperium he's, has a, he's got there. access to that kind of stuff. They, they he's, a badass, co- he's, yeah. he's a badass in combat. Uh, in, in the prior series, he kills two emperor's children like they're nothing. Uh, he kills... Uh, well, it's handy when you can just pop people's heads. Yeah. Like, that's a... But a lot of the stuff is in combat, though. A lot of his stuff is in combat. No, like, he's definitely more... Well, he's an Inquisitor, right? Yeah, so yeah. his psychic ability is actually more focused on being able to sense whether or not you're full of shit. Yeah, that... And, and then he also does, he does, influences people. He, he, kind of, because yeah. he does something called, like, the force of will. Like, yes. he is, like... One of his big things about him is that he is extremely willful. Like, he's just a guy yeah. that will, like, I will continue to go forward no matter what. And he, that psychic ability is is also part of a psychic ability where he can go into somebody's head and be like, come out of cover. And they'll all of a sudden like for a couple seconds, not be able to control themselves and like come out of cover and you can shoot them. It's the hat. It's the hat. It's always the hat. And, and he's, I mean, he's, he's beaten the fuck up. So that's oh, one yeah. of the things. I mean, by the time, you know, farther in the books, he's wears this kind of like scaffolding shit. He's also, he's gotten his hand chopped off instead of putting a friggin' augment. He gets it that grown, so bef- he's running around with a hook and a peg for a while yeah, because right, he just right. doesn't. Because he's a badass, he can't smile because his face is it's not scarred, but he's lost like nerve feeling in his face, so he doesn't smile. So that's a thing about the character. Mm-hmm. So by the time you get to like the last few books, he's like a giant potato. He yeah, is fu- the- <laughs> fucked up. Yeah, yeah, he, he's a mound of of scar tissue. So which brings us to who could possibly play this character? Well, there is a guy who no longer has a job because he's not going to be Superman anymore, and absolutely loves this guy. Uh, see, 
But okay, okay. So, so Gregor. Now, now I was reading some of the yeah. stuff about this. I have a different person about this. We'll talk about. Yeah. We'll talk about the uh, great uh, my my man crush, uh, good old Henry uh, Henry Cavill. I, um, I don't think Cavill's the right person. But he but, but, loves but, him though. But he and loves that's him. the guy he wants him to play. But anyway. But but to go to go back, you know. Yeah. Um, Early Eisenhorn in the books Xenos and everything yeah. is a good looking dude. That's what it, you'd have to it's, end up doing it starting. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. He's yeah. a good looking dude. Yeah. He's young, he's fresh, a little middle aged, a little weird. There's tear artwork on him. too that goes along with that. He actually has hair. Yeah, his hair, you know, yeah. he looks he looks good. He looks yeah. good for himself. Yeah. Like there's actually that. The the model that you, everyone knows of of Eisenhorn is this old beat up old fuck. Fucking potato. That is not yeah. that, that 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 is that is later stages yeah. of Eisenhorn. You know, I think he's, you know, I think, I think you'd do really well with, um, with, uh, the great Cavill. And I think that his build and everything fits it. Mm-hmm. There was some, some talk about James P- Purefoy who played another sort of inquisitor and in Solomon Kane, and he's been around, bounced around, uh, not big enough for that character. Cause he's, he's got a physicality to him. Mm-hmm. He, and I say that cause he needs to be able to fight a space Marine and look like he could fight us. Yeah, the, 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 the he doesn't guy. wear armor. He has, he wears stuff. It's a leather coat. It's a leather coat. And, yeah. he de- but he's not wearing armor because some inquisitors run around with battle mm. armor and stuff yeah. like that. He doesn't. Some of his guys do. Um, cause all these guys have retinues and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but I, I, if you're going well, you can't confuse members of the inquisition. Yeah. And inquisitors because they're, they're two yeah. different things. Cause right. you mm-hmm. have like, like the inquisition has its military arm and right. it is like dudes that like, they have the eye on them and yeah. they will, they will but, go in and wreck shop, but yeah. they're, they're armored and they're weaponed yeah. and they're whatever. Yeah, but they have then storm like, troopers that are, they go yeah. and like control yeah. it. Yeah. And then the inquisitor comes walking in yeah. and is like, and then for people, right. for people who don't know what an inquisitor <laughs> is, let's go kind of break down to the basics yeah, yeah. a little bit. An inquisitor basically is somebody that is outside of the hierarchical society of uh, of the government of the Imperium, Their they army are, are a mil- they're a government unto they're themselves. a government unto themselves. themselves. They they speak with the the authority and power of the Emperor and nobody yes. else. Well, they speak with the power and authority of the intent of the Emperor of the intent of the Emperor. Yes, but the idea so behind them is that like this right. one Inquisitor can like destroy a whole planet yeah. if they want to. They are one of I think it's them, Primarchs and. I think it's chapter masters. No, I, chapter masters don't have that much power. To, chapter to, masters to, 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 uh, to pull exterminatus. No, to pull exterminatus. Yeah. yeah, I think yeah. But An inquisitor can pull exterminatus. A primarch can pull exterminatus. And a chapter master. I don't know if a chapter master can. A chapter master can do it, but there will be questions. There is a geek screaming at us. Yeah. White Dwarf 646. Yeah, I mean, right? Some guy did it. But anyway, years but, but anyway, yeah, the, no, the, the, the best way that yeah. I've ever heard described is like. An inquisitor's power is only checked by his reputation among other inquisitors. Right. Yep. Is that that is the check of their power? They, like if you are, and that's that's exactly right. They they it's like oh your how your opinion of me matters more really than the the horrible things I've mm-hmm. got. Well, I've and done. it's which is how they're able to get away with so yeah. much. And what you need to understand is that nobody is above the inquisition. Right. Mm-hmm. So the office of the inquisition can literally mm-hmm. pull anybody and go. We need to have a conversation. That's yeah. usually not a good thing. Yeah. And so, then people, because the Inquisition has looked into some of the High Lords of Terra. Yep. Like, but they Chapter are. Masters. The, yeah. They uh, also look after each other. So, you'll have Inquisitors that are literally Inquisitor, investigating well, Inquisitors. Well, that's what that's they're what, trying to figure out. That's what Eisenhorn out, so. gets involved in that stuff. He's killed a couple of them. Uh, he's had them come after him. Uh, he's a Puritan, starts out as a Puritan sect of the, in, in, which, which they kind of f- supposedly follow the rules. They don't use alien technology. They don't do that stuff. Whereas this, the, they also have other cool branches. Hats. Will the ends the justify the means, about? but he kind of gets there. But Eisenhorn the gets to the ends justified yeah. the means. The Inquisition kind of thing. has badass hats dude. in forty k. Yes, really, dude. They've got so they've got the whole fucking uh, yeah. Let's fucking talk. Let's SS do an audio hats. medium. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to describe it. Like yeah. they <laughs> they have the whole like fucking low brim fucking like eight pointer hats really? that they wear. Okay. They have, uh, those well, you cool, can wear whatever you want. Yeah. They right? have those yeah. cool freaking <laughs> stovepipe like bucket hats that they wear and I like shit. It. Like, I, yeah, I, I love how we're talking hats, about somebody man. with like an insane amount of power and jazz is like, but if you looked at their headwear, the so hats, their headwear is I on have, fucking, point. I have an admiration <laughs> for any organization who bases their structure on the size of the hat. So you're a big Catholic fan, huh? That's why I like the Catholics. <laughs> the Catholics. I fucking big, love that, dude. Big hat. You big know hat. in a the minor. room, you know in the room who's in charge. You just, <laughs> look just look around. You just look around and be like, find who's the guy. got the most ornate hat? That dude. That, that dude's dude, in charge. That guy right has there. some shit going on. That yep. has some gold feathering Well, when they it. take the hats off, though, they've got a lot of power. 
And that's, yeah. I mean, and, they, and he wields an incredible, uh, 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 you know, your average inquisitor wields an, uh, a ton a of stupid power. amount of power. Yeah. Yeah. They, I'm like, like you, you like as, as an inquisitor, you can go to any back, any world yeah. and just immediately just walk in and be like, I'm taking, I'm killing the, the, the person in charge. Yep. I'm completely taking over the government and I'm installing a new one and no one would bat an eye. It would just be like, a, okay. Okay, so you know who I vote then? Because I think they could do it and people are going to be like, it's already going to move it. You're right. And it would work really fucking well. Uh, the German dude from Inglorious Bastards. Oh, 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 yeah. I know um, what you're talking about. Quick, where's my phone? What's his Somebody name? Somebody IMDB the shit out of this. So <laughs> Hans... he, was in that, and he was in that and he was in... Uh, Landa? What? Yeah, he plays Hans, Hans Landa. Landa. Yeah. He's old. Christopher. Christopher Waltz. Christopher, Christopher Waltz. Waltz. So, yes, you can't do book one. But. But you could. But honestly, if they're going to do that he's story. He's a little fucking guy, dude. It doesn't yeah. matter. It's so, okay, okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Fucking matter. So, so, so this is, this is the guy that I think would do a fantastic job. <clears throat> and I'm thinking about in like a specific Christoph point. Christoph Waltz. That's what it Christoph is. Waltz. I had to think about yeah. it for a minute. Yeah. Clive Owen. Clive Owen. Yeah. Said children of man. Uh, Clive uh, Owen. He has that great square jaw. He would make a fucking Ibram Gaunt. Yeah, he he's got he's got that great square jaw. He has those like dark eyes so that if you get in the right that, camera will be like piercing through people. I don't think Clive carries Owen a lot of lot a lot a lot a lot of gravitas with him. Really, do you think so? Because I, I was think about to say does. I don't think Clive Owen has the same. We haven't seen Clive Owen in a while. Yeah, but we haven't seen Clive Owen we in a while. This, he doesn't have but the every same time, command that like Christoph Waltz does. Like when Christoph Waltz is on the screen, yeah, so you're he, only paying dude, attention. That to guy him. would be great as some of the guys that. Eisenhower has to go against some of the other oh, fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. You just need a, you need a physical presence and mm-hmm. you need a guy because, and the beauty of the story too, is he's got such a retinue. Uh, you could do a ton. There are so many different mm-hmm. people. What about uh, the King of Sparta? Uh, Gerald Butler. Yeah. Gerard Butler. Gerald Butler. No, he's too goofy. He doesn't do goofy. No, I agree. I agree. No, I agree. I love Gerard. The I problem mean, is, is that, a lot of his stuff that people started watching that was pre 300, but mm-hmm. people didn't start watching it till post 300 yeah. mm-hmm. is he did do a lot of yeah. comedy stuff. Cause he yeah. was, he was working with a lot of those English directors. Yeah. And so well, he did a lot of that kind of I'm stuff. I'm like, yeah, you gotta, you gotta but work. He you gotta can work. do, yeah, he can do hardcore, the hardcore, very heavy. And he's got the physicality. He's a but big the, enough dude. But, but the, the other thing is like, is that like Gregor is under, some- is understated. Like a lot of the stuff that you're when you're reading the books, he's not a he's not a vocal person. He doesn't like you know tell about a lot of like you know doesn't have these big monologues and the, stuff like that. It's, it's all about your fitness. It's all about your physicalness. Oh. Uh, Mangiello, man, man, I can oh. never say that motherfucker's yeah. name. First of all, you need it. I'm sorry, you're gonna need an English guy. You're gonna need. You, you just, think just it has to be an English dude? Absolutely. I, I'm sorry. It's just we're conditioned in this country. If you're gonna, yeah. the, the accent has authority. But has yeah. authority. Hmm. Um, that's a good. That's a good point. It, it just does now. Uh, and there's there, some of the other guys. I've seen some stuff. People thrown around for like some of the guys in his retinue. The the the, the black guy from uh, uh, as the pilot. Yeah, he's uh, he's on the Walking Dead. He was on the Walking Dead. Um, oh, the guy with the dreads? No, 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 no. He's, he's so glad we're prepared. He's uh, oh, I know. <laughs> I don't know. We were going this direction. I don't know. No, but he's he's one of the guys. He, Jim, uh, I can barely remember y'all's name, and you have the same he's in name. One of the, right? like, yeah, you got our name. He's uh, what else has he been in besides Walking? Well, he's I don't Walking Dead. He's, he's the main. He's one of the main guys, and he's in he's in the other series too. He's British. N- nobody knows he's British because he, he's got an American accent, but they all, all do. Right. Um, uh, Luke Edwards. Luke Edwards. Okay. Yeah. Is that why you picked Cavill strictly because he plays Warhammer and he's British? He lo- he well, wants yeah. to be Eisenhorn too. Yeah. I thought he wanted to be a fucking Primarch. He wants to be everybody. He, he, no, but he, he just wants like, to be anything. He's Warhammer. His biggest thing, and that's where everybody kind of went fucking crazy is because they're like, he wants to be Eisenhorn. Yeah. Uh, I prefer somebody who knows the lore and knows the character because – if if this thing is to succeed, it has to be the subtleties mm-hmm. of the show. Yeah. Is because this there's be, so much. Are they trying to make this a Warhammer TV this product? A, yeah, a, no, Do no, they, not they, a Warhammer TV product. I heard that it was one yes. network. It's going to be a network. They're looking so now they're with no. This isn't this isn't going to be like a a streaming. It could be streaming, but it could be Apple or one of the big guys. Yeah, they're already with talks with a some somebody out in LA, and they're they're trying to put this thing together as a Jeez. real thing, as like a real uh, fucking so, thing, like a real thing. So they're saying they're saying that Warhammer is starting to come up a actually, little. Like, you know what? I could actually see AMC doing it. Yeah. You could do it. It's, FX. It's, it's, 
you've got and you've got to get you've got to go with somebody who's going to give it a chance to breathe Mm -hmm. or Apple TV. You're actually when you said it could be Apple or whatever, I could see Apple doing it. Yeah. Well, Apple tried to take on what? No, it wasn't Apple. Who tried to take on foundation? Apple. It was was Apple, Apple, right? It was Apple. It got it got renewed. And Amazon has tried tried to watch it. Amazon has done two fantasies. Amazon needs to not touch any more fucking IP. Yes. Amazon is fucked up. Enough of my favorite IP on the planet. They're they need to just stop touching things. Stupid into the next season. Uh, fucking what well, I the ring affectionately of, of the ring call of, elves. We yeah, just call elves. elves at the house. We just call it elves. The elves. We're gonna yeah. go watch some. There elves. was parts of that that I really, really liked. Sure. And then there was other parts that was just like, "What are you doing?" And then, and, and then they then they completely, you know, fucked when they up revealed time. Mordor by PowerPoint, that shit just bugged me. What do you mean? I haven't watched this. <laughs> It's I haven't someone, watched it, nor do I don't want it. You know, you're, you remember, you're, there's some nerd that's watching this. Yeah. Dude, the nerds are the ones who are fucking losing their minds well, because, because they, it was so they know stupid. if you're a Tolkien, you can so, go to Oxford and be a Tolkien scholar. They're losing yeah. their goddamn shit so, because they're like, none of this Here's is- the deal. Obviously, it's the birth of the rings, right? Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Mordor comes into creation because it's the only way to make the rings. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, well- it's the only way to make the ring. The other rings weren't so, all so made. The, so, so the kingdom of Mordor is like becomes Gets ma- so. The, which, if you've ever seen a Tolkienian map, it's the southern part of the continent. Yeah. That's it's Mordor, just, right? Yeah. yeah. So pre Mordor, it was just called ready the Southlands. Then it becomes Mordor. Okay. Well, so in the show, you see Mount Doom erupt, and it fucking obliterates everything, yeah. mm-hmm. and becomes Mordor. That's what clouds this. That's what chokes the sky with ash so that the sun's yeah, yeah, gone yeah, yeah, and the orcs yeah, yeah, yeah. can be around and da 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 mm-hmm. which if you've read anything token you kind of yeah. know this is the deal right? right so but they show it and they literally have text come up on the screen that says the southlands and then it fades and text comes up and says Mordor. Does it do the, does it do like a bounce around? Do, 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 do. Straight up like a fade into the other and I was slide, like slide build I was like build yeah build I was like <laughs> You just revealed Mordor via PowerPoint. It, like That's this is funny. fucking awful. That's hilarious. We can't have that. So yes, yeah, so they're out. Yeah, but you need somebody who's gonna let this. Who says, now, All right, this is your vision. We it need does to appear. <clears throat> so there's a love interest too. You know, you so, have a love interest. Fa- in the, in of the women reason in that I bring up yeah. something for the foundation like is that yeah. those books are crazy, right? It's and so, it's so dense. It's, a lot of really well-known directors, including James Cameron said that it was impossible to bring foundation to screen. Really? You can't do it outside of a book. You just can't do it. It can't be done. That's why it hasn't been done. Uh And then this dude came along that apparently went and talked to James Cameron about that and shit too. And he was like, no, you can't do foundation on the screen. There's just too much in the book. You can't, you can't bring it out. You can't have season uh, one be pages one through through 50. Right. So (laughs) you just can't do this. And, uh, you know, with the best in the business saying like, this isn't, Doable. Is they said it. They, they said it about Dune. Apple. They Apple said went. Said it about. The fuck it. Here's a bunch <laughs> of money. <laughs> Let's go figure it out. Well, it wasn't just Cameron. Like Cameron said it. Spielberg said it. Like a bunch of oh, these yeah, guys yeah, said yeah, it. That yeah, were yeah. just said like it about a lot of stuff. But if you they were just like, like you don't show. fuck with Foundation. Dune. I think everybody knew Dune could be done. I don't Dune think it can be done. But the problem is, is that all these directors that get a hold of IP, mm-hmm. they want to leave their mark on it. Yeah. Instead of like yeah. paying homage to something. Sure. Mm-hmm. And I don't think these people realize if you're going to make a live action of any IP, I don't give a fuck what it is. Mm-hmm. It, 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 any of it. If it's a beloved book, mm-hmm. if it's an IP that everybody already fucking knows and you decide you're going to go do an animated or live action version of it, don't reinvent it. Take the material mm-hmm. and just shoot that. We don't want new. I don't want a new story. I don't want but, I don't want you to reinvent a reimagining it. of Yeah, no. I don't but, want but, it. But, I just but, but, want but, you to take the book and I just want you to make that. Like just take the shiny pictures that were in my head <laughs> and make them, and then put them on my TV. Like but I don't the, But the best part about Eisenhorn is that they the books follow like major cases in his career. Yeah. So you can so fill you in can a, still fill in that. There kind are of centuries shit. of stuff where he was just doing like, doing stuff. But, doing shit. And that's yeah, probably what makes it, that wasn't that's like probably what makes it a really, really good target. Yeah. But the reason I bring that up about you like you can't go fuck with the IP. Right, right, right. Is that's gonna determine on who you can go talk to about it. Yeah. Like it would appear if Apple's just kind of like you know what? If you think you got it, we got more money than we know what to do with. Like yeah. we could lose everything we're putting in you and we made it back next morning. Yeah. Like, it, well, and also uh, Apple TV is losing the streaming wars. 
I think well, they it's are. just it's so goofy. Yeah. It, like it's just like Disney is top dog yeah. by far. Like I'm not gonna <laughs> lie, I think I have three Apple TV subscriptions that I don't even pay for. Yeah. Because I've bought like Apple Stuff, products and, and they just it. give it to you. Yeah. yeah. I've never logged into it. Yeah. Ever. I mean, I might make some they, of the they, shows because, are like yeah. C is good. Ted Lasso is great. Yeah. Uh, uh, there were some other ones that I wanted to watch that came out yeah. on it. But but their big IP, like um, they, the IP that they own is DC right now. Which I can watch on HBO. Which, yeah. Right. Yeah. Which is not that big of a deal. Because what Apple wants is they want that closed loop, right? Yeah. So they want you to get Apple TV. Yeah. Or, almost, hold on. <laughs> Does some tight. Oh, you're one of those multi sneezers, huh? Oh, yeah. I didn't know that about you. Two Always not, sequels. Two's not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two's, two's not, not bad. bad. I'm like, hey, um, you have those people that just like, ah, kata, 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 kata. It's my wife. Yeah, here you go. Damn it. Um, yeah, that's Cedar just, baby. But what they want is they want you to get Apple TV and then link all of your subscriptions into your yeah, Apple yeah, TV. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they want that. They want that information. Yeah, hit it again. <laughs> I hate everything. <laughs> just get it one more time. <laughs> Fuck yes. Holy shit. <clears throat> Would you like a tissue? Yeah, I'm going to go get one. <laughs> we'll talk amongst ourselves. Yeah. I'm going to just a good refill option. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I just, they just got to let it breathe. They don't need to overdo it with, you don't need to explain every friggin' thing. Yeah. But you can still have space Marines. Like these guys exist. Yeah. They have a quick, like what the hell that is. Um, it would be the, 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 to do this thing really right. It would be a great, um, exercise and show don't tell yeah you know because right. you have to show the universe that we're in and all of the fucked up things you don't that need we to go into every you don't need to explain thing. it yeah. but you can just walk around and be like what the fuck kind of places and if you want to know go get on go, go get on the and, books and yeah, go get, get in the lore and everything yeah, get and in like, the lore to get a little bit deeper into what what they're talking about but it, i think you can comprehend hey we have this emperor empire uh these guys kind of ca- keep things in line and he's on a yeah. case yeah this is the case. Yeah, this is the case. Oh, there's Big wolf. Dunk, there, dunk. Yeah, there's demons. <laughs> oh, they're demons. Oh, I see. Oh, hey, uh, these guys are kind of a little friggin' uh Yeah, uh, hunting down chaos cults. Yeah, are you saying you want a aliens. dragnet a 40k show? Kunk kunk. Like in our bodies, you know, like they have no that. dragnet. Well, you don't remember the show Dragnet? Yeah. yeah. I was thinking more of a law Just and the order. Facts, maybe you're thinking law and order. I was thinking law and order. That's the law and order. Then we'd have to have like it it have to only be as No, no Joe Friday. But, 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 but yeah, I understand agree. Like it's there's a ton of stuff you can go into. Mm-hmm. You can do chaos worshippers. You can go into Z. Oh, there's cults. I get that. All right, cults, these guys are bad. Go, but you don't need to boom, go like boom. Yeah. like super like oh they mentioned so like the geeks are gonna oh there are uh, you know there are cult of slash ooh they mentioned slash you don't need to really super explain that yeah you could just yeah. show them all banging each other and being weird yeah yeah and just be like okay this it's is an a eyes bad wide shut situation yeah. this is weird yeah. It, in fact, you could show a lot of those kind of things and, and you be don't like, even actually, have to even go that far when you actually look at what the gods are about, right? So let's say it's Slaneshi cult. Yeah. It's just the god of excess, right? Mm-hmm. Like you could literally go into this thing that's just these humans that are just these bloated blobs just sitting around. That's just like, gluttonous. what the fuck yeah. is well, happening? You, you could show all that, or you could show like the eyes wide shut, like, oh, this 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 is supposed to be an above board government on this planet, and now they're doing these weird, weird kind of like parties. Yeah. And that's why he's there, or his guys go infiltrate, or hey. Uh, you can get into the psychic stuff as it goes, and then sort of as the season goes, you can kind you can of dive out, into yeah, a little like, more. This is the Do you whole know where they have point. The potential to handle. Have you guys watched any of the stuff from American Horror Story? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Once in a while, yeah. Well, but you don't have to know the story, to, but to understand that format, right? We're mm-hmm. like, you can deal with this kind of weirder, out there, occult kind of dark anthology because. Yeah. AHS kind of has a through line where it's a little bit of a story, mm-hmm. yeah. but most of those episodes are, they're kind of, uh, X-Files. Yeah. Right. They're yeah. a little bit, mm-hmm. they don't have monster of the week, but it, which is part of the X-Files format. There was like the big story yeah. episode and then you got the monster of the week episode and da-da-da. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you can kind of still run that thing, right? Where it's like the throughput is him. Yeah. And then very much so. the weirdness that can happen as long as you don't get campy, you mm-hmm. can just let it be no, you don't, dark and, that's and the grim thing. It, and it's all that got, kind of it's, stuff. It can't be campy. Well, but that's but, why I bring up American Horror Story yeah. is that it turns into – you can get dark and twisted and we know there's an audience because yeah. American Horror Story is on season – producing team, what are we at now? Seven, eight, season nine. 10, 14, like – Some outrageous. bajillion eight, of them. Yeah. 
and you've got he's got a retinue, so it allows you to have young and old, male and female, and, and also have all those people. Retinues change. Yes, yeah, they're on season. season. You want to so, kill so, somebody? Somebody gets whacked. Bring whack somebody else in the next. Bring somebody season. in because you need. Well, and it's got they to. Get, they're it's expendable. It, they're, yeah. If you're uh, gonna stick to retinue, yeah. retinue is fucking expendable. And if you're gonna stick to 40k, it's got to, you've got to have red shirts in every episode. Yep. Where yeah. It's like yep. you through the door, and it's like Whoop, that guy's gonna die. <laughs> yeah, like, it's yeah. gotta happen. Yeah. It's and it's so, great. And yeah. maybe I mean, if you get as far like Ravener, maybe you do a spinoff. Maybe the thing gets that popular that now you've got a guy or Beckwin or some of the other females. And, and these maybe you go to a planet and fucking I don't know what the timelines are, but maybe there's gone and that's that's somebody else big. Do you know what yeah. I will drink yeah. to? The fact yeah. that we can have a podcast episode about the fact that a major network might have a fucking warhammer. Fucking yeah. cheers to, to that. To like, Skull. Yeah, that's crazy. So but, it's, might, it, but, it, but it's a great intellectual property. Yeah. It's it's it writes itself. You it's read the, you read one book and you're just it like, is I get wild, it. Wild though to look at a game company that has arguably now actually outgrown their game mm-hmm. in the lore. Sure. I mean, because then you have to look at the chapter because they've developed just as much lore for 40k as they have for 30k mm-hmm. and then AOS is coming right behind it. Like yeah. they're writing all of that stuff in like, it's, it's, it's just crazy. such a massive universe yeah. at this point. They're doing well. People are playing the video games. Yeah. The new good. space Marine two looks yeah. fucking so amazing. I've actually been playing dark tide. Okay. Um, which have you done like left for dead? Do you play video games at all? Not much. No. Okay. So there's some other titles out there like left for dead and stuff like yeah, that. Right. Which are their co-op first person shooters. So Dark Tide is actually set. It's funny because it's actually it's an Inquisition based thing. Yeah. And it's a great story that's in it. So Dark Tide actually works where you get arrested and Mm. you're on a prison ship and then that prison ship gets attacked. Okay. And you live via the attack and it essentially turns into, okay, well, we've lost too many people and there's a hive city down there. So we're going to take you and some of these other prisoners, and if you want to earn your way back into the good graces of the Imperium, we're going to send your ass down there, and you're going to accomplish some of these missions because everything down there is some sort of poxwalker or heretic it's or cool. – it, like the whole hive city yeah. is just fucked. Yeah. So you go down there, and you bring us back these fuel cells, and you get a little bit of loyalty back. You go down there and fucking schwack this dude that we know is the problem with it or whatever. So you go down yeah. with three other players – and uh, like in it, I'm playing a uh, uh, priest, like a like a zealot. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I've gotten enough now to where I've earned my fucking chainsword and flamer, and I'm just just wrecking shot. Oh, d- but it's first person shooter, and each mission takes you like 20, 25 minutes. Button mashing is so good. And you're man. just oh, it, you need a left and right mouse button to play this game. Like it's just, and you're just yeah. They made it so cool, and they've wanted to do. There, there's been other games, and there's also the the strategy ones that are always pretty good. Mm-hmm. Like the the Blood like, Angels one was God. Great. There's so many strategy ones. And they were but good, and they're well. Space done. Marine Two does look really, really, really good. Really nice, really um, nice. Dark Tide's awesome. I think Dark Tide is only on PC though. I think it's a Steam game only. Yeah, so I don't think you can play it on console. I think you have to be on a PC. Um, It's fantastic. I play it with some friends, and we get on there, and it's and we're all forty k like fucking nerds. So it's just one joke after, and the quotes on the break screens, like the load screens, yeah, they're amazing. That it's like your your understanding, uh, or no, what is it? What was my favorite one? Uh, your duty does not require understanding. And I was like, this is the most army shit I have ever heard in my entire life. <laughs> You're just in right away. Right? Yeah, I was like, oh, yep, bye in. I understand. Uh oh. Producing team has some facts for us. Uh, Dark Tide can also be played on Xbox Series X, S, and Microsoft Windows. Oh, look at that. So, Microsoft products, yeah. essentially. So, sure, it's nice. Xbox and, and Microsoft. So, uh, but yeah, I've, I've been having a blast with it. It's my kind of game. What about though? a Nintendo Wii? Can I play it on the Wii? On the Wii? <laughs> no, no, it's not a Wii. Uh, you know, I heard a fact the other day that made me feel really old. Oh, I don't like these facts. facts. Yeah. So apparently now, uh, because of the new Switch or whatever, uh, <laughs> but the, the, thing these kids the current are year, right? We are now as far from the release of the Wii as the Wii was far from the Nintendo. Oh wow. Yeah. Right? I was like, ooh, that hurt. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, so the gap, I think it's the gap between the Super Nintendo oh, and the it, Wii it, yeah. is the same yeah. gap between the Wii and the current Nintendo. And I was like, 
Oh, I'm not old enough for that. Yeah, no, I just that's not right. Drink to that. It's just uh, I feel old enough for that though. Yeah, there's out. certain mornings, dude, that yeah. I like wake up and I'm like, why is my body making more noise than my alarm clock? <laughs> yeah, like right. this should be how this fucking works. So with the kids today, I was watching uh, the movie Up today because i was watching the kids all day so we watched up and like there's a part where like the old man like gets out of the bed and he like starts cracking every part of his body i'm just like i get you i get you bro i got it first time i ever watched up was on my first major separation from my wife with the military Uh and i was like and we watched oh don't do and i was like the fuck's wrong with you people yeah that's sad so they had like everybody in a room and this movie's playing and it was just and everybody's like we were in garrison casual right so it was like t-shirt yeah you know, pants boots, and, like, and we're all just time? chilling, right? Just all these stone cold killers sitting in a room and up plays and we're all just like, you good, man? No, I'm fucking good, dude. I'm good. I'm, I'm good. Don't, don't even good. worry about it. I was I like, something in the air. Who's cutting the pepper? Fuck. Who's cutting the pepper? I want some of that pepper. So bad. <laughs> I want that onion. <laughs> oh my God, you guys and your fucking up bullshit. Oh, no. it's, it's, the movie was brutal. So. The movie's brutal, man. But yeah, no, I would definitely, I think Eisenhorn, if they are, they're ever going to make there's two IPs that I think that if they make into like a real TV show, Gaunt's Ghost, Eisenhorn. Gaunt's Ghost would be the, the easiest. Band of Brothers. They take Band of Brothers yeah. in space. Go. And, 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 and you're getting okay, hear the me World out, War One, World War Two thing. But hear me out, though. I would prefer. It's, uh, it's Gaunt's Ghost, but it's actually the A team in space. Okay, I'm in. Yeah, still in. I'm still <laughs> in. Oh, man. Because the Gaunt's Ghost, like that, that's my favorite by far of all the science fiction things. Uh, in the Warhammer universe by far and do not fuck that up. Yeah. Cause I have a picture in my mind of those guys. That's why and, I said a team in space. Do so, not, do not fuck that. They up. need a black van with wings and it just, it just goes around. Yeah, it just I, goes I around. Dudes in their fucking camo yeah. smocks and fucking, fucking yeah. blades Weird. and yeah. smoking. You don't know how to get a hold of them. You don't by know the where way. they are, but when you need them, yeah, they'll be there. By the like, way, if you <laughs> ever, if you ever get into, uh, um, audio books, don't listen to the Gaunt Ghost ones. Oh, really? Because they just don't have the right. Do you know what's? Do you know what? Because they are hardcore Scottish accents. You're uh, like, who are these people? And these are the people that are supposed to be in my head. But that's that's correct. What they're but supposed that's to what's be. Back, that's yeah. correct. What do you know what's actually to be? brutal about the Gaunt Ghost? So they actually a couple years ago they released a model kit for the Gaunt Ghost. It was an yeah. updated model kit. Yeah. yeah, and they're dope as shit. Yeah. I've got the, I've got nine guys. The models are dope. Yeah, yeah they're fantastic. badass. Beautiful. And then you bring them to the table. And they absolutely get their shit pushed Of course, because that's not what they do. They're a, fucking, they're they're a special so operations. They're, that whole battalion or, well, it's a regiment, a mixed regiment. Now, in but all they're fairness, all scouts. I yeah. haven't read anything yeah. about them on the they're super new lighted. rule book. As of this recording. You can't. There, there are. They, well, as of this recording. You can't. The, yeah. the Imperial the Guard play. got a new book as yeah. of this recording, like. Three weeks ago. I, I don't so know. So like, as of this recording, the rules, but I haven't read that rule book yeah, yet. I mean, so I don't know if they improved them, dude, but they're, no. the rules for them prior to this. Yeah, they were not good. It was like, everybody built them. Everybody them was like, look at these guys. I'm going to put them in this building. They're doing all this cool stuff. And it was like, cool. Yeah. Uh, this dude's going to walk my over single, there and schwack everybody. And it, like, my single <laughs> fucking like, space marine who's not even good at his job. He kind of sucks and he's right. not feeling, oh, he lost an army. He's going to smoke all Straight of you because he's just a fucking, that's not what they do. I, yeah. First time I played them, I was playing my orcs. Yeah, you also and my, have one wound. And my orcs yeah. walked over there and just derp a derped into this building and annihilated every single yeah, one of the even, guns. I don't think ghosts. they've ever even fought a fucking orc. In no. Any. They've no, no, space, no, no, no. They, they, they've they, had space marines support, and I think they've encountered space marines. And, 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 and the space didn't. marines, when they encounter them, is more of like a, oh, fuck, run away, run yeah, away, yeah, run like away. We're not, like, like, we're going to we call can't. it an airstrike because yeah. we can't deal with them. Well, and that's <laughs> the weird thing about, honestly, the difference between the lore and the gameplay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Because in the lore, honestly, if you play Space Marines, you shouldn't lose. Yeah. Like, you just shouldn't lose the game. Yeah. Like, you, if you're playing, the Space Marines should just always win. One yeah. guy's like, worth 50, 50 fucking Astro Militarum guys. They just, they, you went infantry. Right. And now there's certain are. lists that I could see it, <clears throat> right? Like, uh, if you're playing Bugs. Yeah. It, that, that's a different story. They, you're playing Bugs, whatever, but it, it, even the rules don't really keep up with that because it should feel like there's just, you're never out of models. Mm-hmm. Like, it should just be. Yeah. It's like, ha! Ah, I took out all of your. Oh God, there's more. Like, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, like that's yeah, how yeah. it should it's work, just, right? Yeah, yeah, just numbers. Um, well, in, in the lore <clears throat> or in any of the books, they're always evacuating or playing for time. It's never like we're gonna beat dude, these straight up. Guys. Even with like in the yeah, the yeah. Beast Arises story in the yeah. very beginning yeah. when they're talking when the Imperial Fist just get entire like 
utterly destroyed and stuff when that moon comes in and yeah. destroys. But they're fighting bugs. At the time, they're fighting, they call them chromes or whatever the fuck it was because no. they didn't know what the Tyranids were. Yeah. Yeah. And that's when that one dude fucking takes a Tyranid leg and is using it as a sword. And I'm like, that would be a badass that's model. That's a great move. Yeah. yeah. It, like, dude's just walking around with a Tyranid leg as his saber. I was like, this is dope. But uh, <laughs> I'm in. I love it. Uh, that planet, they literally, I think like six of them, six Marines make it off the planet and they're like, burn that motherfucker to the ground. Yeah, because they don't, they, they <laughs> like don't, just, <clears throat> they don't, it's never like, oh, we had a victory. No, it's like, we, we got survived. out with the dude we were trying to get out and everybody else is dead and half our fucking squad company chapter, whatever the yeah. fuck is all dead. And thank God for that bookends. Like, yeah. it's never a good, like it's, it, and they play it right. But it's the same thing. Nids kind of play <clears throat> the way their lore keeps up, but yeah. orcs, orcs are still the weakest thing in fucking 40 K as far as play is concerned. There was like a two week window where orcs were great. Mm -hmm. When the new book came out and orcs were just utterly brutal and they yeah. were just, they were clear in the board and like round one, it was like orcs win. It's over. Really? Didn't matter where they were playing. And then Warhammer came down and was like, Oh, hold on. Whoa. And just like strong. nerfed the shit out of them. Yeah. And now they suck again. And, uh, but th there's a huge break between lore and gameplay. Sure. Cause to be honest with you, orc players should be scary. Like if an orc player shows up to the table, it should just be like, yeah, I can't win this. Well, I have got, to hold yeah, my got hold a, out uh, for the round. You got a ton mm -hmm. of shit. Yeah. You got a ton because they, they fight with a ton of dudes. Their equipment shouldn't work and it does. I mean, yep. it, it, it's indestructible and Instead, you can slap it and back they don't, together. They, they don't run away. And yeah, the no, only, they don't quit. But, they just, yeah. but and all that's in there. Like you have to deal with it. And the problem is, is that it shouldn't work, but it does. But in the game, you can't hit shit. Like the, like shooting wise, no. you're useless. You can't hit. You have to hope you get close enough. And then everything's like yeah. one wound. It all goes away. You're still checking all these leadership checks. It's like, it's fucking, it's mm. bullshit. No, it's, I mean, it, it, uh, I mean, you know, but those are the things you don't have but the to thing bring is that into space Marines, show. space Marines sell models. Yes. yes. And so that's why they're always get the most and shit. I tell you space what, Marines sell people, models. If, you, if, if you get out a, in the fourth episode, there's going to be maybe, uh, uh, What's Dan Abbott's the snake fucking guys? That oh, the uh, um, not Iron Snakes. Is it Iron Snakes? It's Iron Snakes. Iron like snakes, a, yeah. there's gonna be an Iron Snake Marine. From Ithaca. Yeah, yeah. yeah. From, yeah. How, you or know how they need to handle be that though. A first founding somebody. Yeah, is yeah. that it needs to be? It is a space marine. Don't do the armor. Mm. Where the space marine comes out, do the implants, do the service studs, do yeah. Where yeah. you have everything, yeah. but they're in the what do they call it? The surplus. Mm -hmm. That thing that they yeah, wear right. when they're the not in different, armor. Different guys have different things so, that they wear. Th but yeah. they have these surpluses and shit that they wear. It's just like this kind of, it's this weird like toga yeah, thing toga that they thing. like yeah, walk yeah. around in. Death Watch yeah. guys run around in fucking camis and stuff and do missions without their armor. The, oh, the, well, yeah, but well. You so could, you could have them like that. You like, could. Yeah. I'm like, especially with. But you uh, could have the armor hanging there. But if yeah. he's going like, to go have just, a conversation. Yeah. Right. Have his bolter on the on the yeah. holder and like because they they worship their armor yeah like there's that whole that whole, there's like, like a whole retinue that comes out and armors yeah. them and it's, Artificer, it's yeah, all of them are relics yeah. and yeah. da 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 mm -hmm. but if you're gonna do it if you put them in armor it's gonna be cheesy if you do a live action and you put them in armor it's gonna be cheesy well, you'll never do it justice it's either gonna be cheesy because it's too big and too it look it'll look ridiculous the fact of the matter is is that a space mm -hmm. marine's design is stupid yeah. In 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 the real world, it's Space Marine armor looks yes. dumb. Mm -hmm. It works in animation. It works as a model. Right. In the real world, it looks stupid. Nobody would design shoulder pads that big. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody would. And, and the and, joints and, aren't and in the right the, place. Yeah, like, and, none and, of it and, would and, function. And even, even, like, the authors, like, trying to explain the shoulder pads. Oh, we're getting feed. Yeah, we're getting. There you go. All right, we're back. Can you hear us? Yeah. All right. In we're three, back on Warner. Two, one. Yeah. So they talk about the whole like the shoulder pads Bad and being how able huge, to go up. They go and up down. and down, and oh, da, 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 da. they protect the side of the head. They yeah. do that kind of. And it's stuff. supposed to be if you're in a melee, they're supposed to raise up so it yeah. protects because you're. And also in order shooting, to move your yeah. neck, you can't have a stiff like blah blah blah. Yeah. The problem is that's all great on paper. Yeah. In the in if you were gonna make that in real life. 
It just looks dumb. Don't believe me? Go search the internet for anybody that's done Space Marine cosplay. Yeah. yeah. And done it right, where, they, where they're on the stilt, so they're the right height and all that kind of shit. It looks dumb. It just it, it, looks it needs dumb. To, it, it needs to be done. Like, if you're going to – like, I have a vision of this. Like, if you do it right, it's, you know, you have the Space Marine, like, all of a sudden just kind of – it needs to be, like, a situation where it's, like, there's a single guy. Yeah. Just dropping down, like all of a sudden from like a helicopter, just dropping down, no parachute, no yeah. nothing, a little bit of a boom. And then all of a sudden just like things just start breaking around him. You know, like he's just, a, he's moving faster if than you can, that, then you can barely like the, like the halo yeah. armor. Yeah. 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 Or put him far, like or put him far enough off to where you go and you recognize the silhouette and that's definitely a space marine. Yeah. And you see that squad move, and they move in just such an inhuman way that you're that like, you're just, holy shit. And, all, and then that's it. That's yeah. all you get. And yeah. it's, it was just enough yeah. to make it wiggle. And then and then maybe you talk then, to the guy out of his armor later on if that's a thing. Kind or, or, of, it's yeah. just, or, or, or it's a mic thing where it's just yeah. like people are just sitting there like, what the fuck just hit us? And all of a sudden you're like – then all of a sudden you hear like in this insane, yeah. insanely low voice like like objective cleared. Yeah. And, and then there's yep. like – that's all you hear and you're and just like, you see him in the background, what the fuck and then, just yeah. happened? And then when they're back on the ship and yep. he needs to get information from that Astartes or needs yeah. to talk to him or whatever, take the Astartes out of the, the, the armor, armor yeah. <laughs> and let his bolter and his chain sword be on the holder in his in his chamber and the whole thing. That's also in the book too, in the Xenos book, is when he's dealing with one of the, the when he's working with the Death Watch, he's working with them a lot of time. Like they're they're pre gaming and that yeah. kind of stuff. They're they're out of their armor. Yeah. You're trying to be cordial or talk to with them in the training person. cages. Yeah. yeah, when they're not in the armor and they're yeah. down there in just like their like workout <coughs> gear. Yeah, and they're in the cages and all that kind of stuff. Because yeah. you could shoot that right, where you could bring in dudes that were physically absolutely physically intimidating. Right, but you could shoot the angles right. Mm-hmm. To where they are, uh, they're bigger than him. They yeah. seem more. They're, they're more than human, yeah. and, right? and they're less human too. But That's we don't yeah. too. Yeah, and because they also they don't train with their chain swords. Nope. They train with practice weapons. Yeah. They mm-hmm. chain with all that stuff. So the stuff that is like the spinal tap level of ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Is taken away. Gets taken away so that we still go like, holy shit, that's a big motherfucker. Yeah, there is. I remember but when. it doesn't get lessened because it's campy. But that yeah. shit was invented in the 80s. Yeah, like, yeah, it's, yeah. it's it's campy yeah, by it's today's campy. standards. <laughs> but I remember, like, I was watching um, when uh, they were first talking about Warhammer TV. You know, it's coming out and they're sending out a lot of the promo videos yeah. kind of stuff. There was one that it was, I think there is sometime coming up, there's going to be a Black Templar one. Yeah. Yeah. And there was, do you remember this? Where there was like a Black Templar chaplain. He was strolling and it's like very dark and it's thing and you see him like strolling out of the back of a of a of a um of a Thunderhawk. And um it all of a sudden like he like turns his head and he looks at like the camera and it's like literally like you're like, holy shit, I'm a little afraid. Like as a viewer, you have this like little tightening of your chest a little bit, and like if you can do recreate that emotion for them, because that's what these space marines are. They are yeah. just you look at them and they're like, that's not right. And make Something's it, wrong here. Make yeah. it so that they're, th- they cannot take over the show. So you only get yes. one every few episodes or maybe once in a, in a season where you get to do either there. You're doing combat or having a conversation because that's not what the show is about. You can show the demons because that shit's what it's about. You can show the planets and all the stuff that, and all the warfare and stuff. You can yeah. show and all, all those and, things and, and how shitty high life is. I want to yes. see. I want to see everything else from the little shit to the big shit. Right? Like I want to see servitors. Yeah. I want to see a little skull yeah. just floating around doing his thing. The cherubs, I, no, we're not. I want to see that cherubs. you can leave the cherubs out. No, leave the cherubs out. We're but I want to see servitors just walking around yeah. where it comes up to Eisenhorn and just goes like. And I would love nothing more. Scars. Yeah. I would love nothing more than a servitor to flow up and it kind of beeps or whatever, whatever, and he just goes like black two sugars. And then it fucking floats off yeah. and then it just comes back and gives him his calf. Yeah, and I'd be yeah, like, yeah. that was dope. That's what all is I needed. That, that, is that was that. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And, and like, then also and also like the, the scribes with their like bolted on a mo- yep. like monocles and like and tubes I want to see I want to see the Vox operators where it's permanently installed to their face and that's all they can do. And I want the big space shots of these of Giant him on his spacecraft. of the yeah. ship that is so large it's throwing shadows onto the fucking planet. Yeah. Yeah. I want that shot. And the thing is, is where we are tech wise, you, you can that. give me that. Yeah. yeah, easy, absolutely. But if you show me a space marine, you are going to take me out of that show so quick, so fast. Yeah, it's you not need- even. You're not going to be able to do it. It's not going to work. You can't show the space marine itself. You have to show the idea of a space marine. And the, the beauty of, the, of this thing is, he encounters only a couple of guys at any one time, and they're not 
even a squad of guys. He just doesn't. He kills a couple of fucking dudes by himself, and you can show that, like how much of a badass he is. But see, what but you need you to do is, to do a lot is you need to do it. Mm-mm. Never show him fighting the Astartes, right? But the reputation of the fact that he's taken on Astartes yeah. and won mm-hmm. is already there. Sure. So when he sits down to talk to a space marine, you can be physically bigger than him. But you can sense that mutual respect across the way yeah. where it's like, where, where it's like, it's like, like do not take I this can't man lightly. intimidate you because you've already killed my kind. So yeah. it's well, like, like in the case of the Death Watch, if you have a thing where he comes back and he talks to those guys, they can already be like, hey, we start, we remember blah, blah, blah. And they reminisce about some battle or something that they already had because he carries a uh, at one point carries a, 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 a Death Watch bolter. That yeah. it was a little smaller. Well, and at the same yeah. time, especially hanging yeah. out with the Death Watch, because within Eisenhorn's timeline, the EC, the Empress Children, the two that he killed, yeah. those are heretics. Right. Like yep. he took on two Chaos Space, yeah, space Marines, Marines and killed. schwacked them. He's got, he's racked so up a quite a fucking the, the yeah. standard Space Marines are gonna be like it, Yeah. It, no, it, yeah. He may be mortal, but uh fuck. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Not Who only fucks? Yeah. Like, yeah. some of them have it's never like, encountered chaos space Marines. Yeah. Yeah. That's so, the other thing know, too. They're so, just as so, rare. Speaking yeah. of yeah. wild fucking media though. Well, are we going to talk about the next word? Yeah. yeah. Are, are we, are we going to do a, uh, are, are we planning a uh, movie night? <laughs> we should, <laughs> we, we should, should absolutely. I guess we, we just should. segued. Yeah. There's a, the there is a movie coming that has an Jesus. actual, that we know is in production. The trailer is out. It's absolutely yeah. coming. Cocaine Bear. Cocaine Bear. The movie, which is, which is based on a true story. Yeah, which is based, well, it's not, we don't know if it's a true, like, we know that, like, the whole thing is that there's, like, this meme online that basically was, like, there was, like, a like a, kilo, a couple kilos of cocaine fell out of a plane over uh, Alaska, I think it was. So, and they we, found, we do know yeah, there was a found. bear. There was a bear that ate cocaine and died. From it. Right. And then the joke is for about 20 minutes, this was the apex predator of the world is the, what the joke is <laughs> like for about 20 to 45 minutes in the movie. It's the bears running around for quite some time <laughs> wreaking just, absolute fucking havoc. Yeah. High as a motherfucker. Just, just Trump just, juniorin yeah, the just shit just out of everything. Smelling colors. <laughs> like yeah. that thing is just on another. And getting everybody high apparently because like a bunch of, yeah, they show them like. But the, okay, the aftermath and there's like coke fucking everywhere. It's like, but the other thing that I want to talk about about this is mm-hmm. one of the stars of this. Ray Liotta. Is this Ray, Ray Liotta's last <laughs> movie? It had to have been. It right? had to have been. This isn't the one that he died on, so I don't know if that, that, no, but that it, is it has to be the last full production Well, because one, the maybe? sheer amount of time it would take to yeah. make that much CG yeah. to make a believable bear high on cocaine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, just think you never think you say. <laughs> I mean, like it's it's got to be right. It's no, got to be his gotta, last. It's, it's got to be his last. Like, and I really, I do you know what the part I'm going to look forward to the most. Henry Hill is, is like fucking is, 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 is the part that I'm going to look forward to my entire life for this is like Henry, when when, when like, a bear Henry when when like the movie's done and the cocaine bear is finally dead yeah. from cocaine from an OD and he's killed everything there's gonna be a script at the back says in loving memory of Ray Liotta well, I, I and I'm so. just gonna be like bah <laughs> cause that's just like that's how you, know, you that's how you know why I killed the bear I did it out of respect I did out of respect out of the Ray Liotta like I just think that's gonna be great but as a good it has good actors in it too like yeah they, they, I mean and they play it they don't play it it's, it's yeah they it don't play it funny. straight it's, it's, it's gonna, gonna, gonna be, be fucking funny, hilarious you know, cause there's yeah. people being fucking murdered by this fucking high as a kite fucking bear and they show him getting like like pulled into the woods and yeah, I'm like, I'm like, like in, in, shit. Re- watch the trailer, do yourself a favor, pause, watch the trailer, yeah. then come back. And there's like a part where like the, the bear does a line off of somebody's uh, amputated leg, like dismembered leg. And he's just like, it's does funny. a it's, line it's so on ridiculous. it. Like, this is like the stupidest thing I've ever seen. And I'm just, I'm a hundred percent into movies and media that does not take itself too fucking seriously. And I think that really is just cocaine bear in a nutshell. See, and you're probably wondering, like, well, you can handle cocaine bear because it's ridiculous, but D and D you've got a problem with? Yeah. Yeah, I got a fucking huge problem with it. Yeah. yeah Cause that's D and D and that's that. And then there's a fucking bear high on fucking Coke. Yeah. Which is the most ridiculous thing you've ever heard. But like it can, it it happened. It didn't happen like this. But Jesus Christ, like it's that's a reimagining. That. And I will, and, and but it's, it's, it's a it's wide open canvas, be, right? Like if I know what I'm going into, yes. Like I know what cocaine bear is supposed to be. It's called cocaine bear. I got it. Yeah. It's a bear on right. cocaine. But if you're going to make a D and D movie, especially at this point now where D and D is actually like 
part of nerd culture. It, yeah. Yes. And it's, it's, and it, well, and it's breaking out of just nerd culture. I mean, thanks to things like Stranger Things and these celebrities yeah. and stuff coming forward or whatever. And it's like coming forward. But yeah, they well, finally have. I, I love they're coming out of the dark. The they're coming out of the dark. D and D like, and everything have been done. You've yep. seen it in Game of Thrones. You've seen it in. Um, yep. you, you know, I mean, we are we are now living in the in the age of hashtag D and D two. D and D two. D two. D and D two. I just did that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's so good. I get like that. Like, like that's where we're at now. So and it's like so you're gonna make the movie into a joke again? Again. Yeah. It like no. I hate yeah. to tell you this. They already did a comedy version. And it and didn't it do well. Didn't help. It didn't, like, didn't do. Mark people are going to be watching this podcast brothers. and be like, just just watch till the end and they'll just go back to the D&D movie and how fucking awful it is. No, it's... it's prove it's, me wrong. Yeah. Prove me wrong. You'll... If they prove me wrong when it comes out, you will see a shift in this fucking podcast, yeah. and I won't fucking talk about it. But right now... <laughs> like, we're just, we're I'll say... I'll be editing. like... I'll be like... Fuck, I was wrong. All right, whatever. But it's fucking hilarious. I'm oh, not going I'm to bring be. it up. If it is good, I'm going to keep on bringing it up in every. I'm not going to be. Out. So I will bring something up though until we fucking bully him into doing it. When are you going to start playing a war game? Which one? At this point, pick one. Yeah. Ah. Dude, I, I, I've got, I got enough problem. We're playing D and D. That's what you get out of me. I'll do the military yeah. stuff. Like bolter, bolt action, bolt action, bolt action. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, we're actually. I have a big conversation with them. We're about to hold a. It looks like we're bringing the Ooh. Texas championship into this. I'm gonna watch, and then, and then the national championship after that. So really, yeah. But I'm gonna well, get fun doing things here at Battle Club. Game store in Texas. That's true. But so, you know, I'm yeah. gonna get pissed if some fucking 16 year old with this bullshit outmaneuvers my fucking tanks when I've actually done it for fucking real. Be like, that's that. That's I, I wouldn't recommend bringing tanks to that game. No. Or whatever the fuck. Well, it's a it's a squad based game, maybe platoon. Like that's really where oh, you're right. operating. Okay, so I, you know, yeah, I'm gonna watch and then I'll see. Otherwise, I'm just gonna roll my fucking dice. And that doesn't seem. I like how he's such a Warhammer yeah. fan. I get him. I can't get him to play anything Warhammer. Yeah, it's right. a lot of work, man. It is a lot of work. It's a lot of work. It's rewarding work. I actually, it's- so I got into Necromunda because I need like eight dudes. Really? No, fuck. It's so good. Is it? It's also just a great fucking game. Like, yeah. it's a great game. So you run your little gang. There's no super soldiers. There's no whatever. It's just you and your eight you, dudes. You and your eight You're dudes. making fucking weapons work. The tables are beautiful because they're just stacked with terrain. Nice. So you get your eight dudes, and it's all narrative-based. Oh, okay. So, like, you run campaigns. Okay. So, like, you don't play, like, a game of Necromunda. You play, Multiple like, games. a chapter in a campaign. And it's parts where, like, you have to play, and you have to go to the black market and just hope you don't end up in a gang fight while you're trying to, like, fucking get new supplies and shit. Like, like the Jets and the Sharks coming at each other. Yeah, snapping. it's fucking awesome. Yeah. It's all my people. They just... It's funny, those are the, the only, the only books I didn't read that I never... Was read the Necromunda into. stuff? Yeah, I just, just couldn't get into it. Well, there's no super soldiers. Yeah, I don't, I don't even care about the super soldiers because I read God's Ghost. I think that's the best thing going. Yeah, it's just... Because yeah. all the Hive City stuff. Yeah, yeah. All the Necromunda stuff, It's these are just people just trying to make it. In a, in a, yeah, yeah. In a shitty fucking you know, in a sit, shitty people who make in it a, in a shitty world. In a, fucking, in a yeah. planet covered with a trillion people and yeah. there's nothing but city. That, yeah. So uh, uh, that, that place sounds obsolete. The game, though, yeah. is fantastic. I, I'm not going to lie. I know nothing about the lore. Yeah. The game, though, it's it's a fantastic rule set. It plays super well. If you've played D&D, it's super familiar because you get two actions a turn oh, per, really? per okay. little dude. Yeah. So it's when it's my go, I pick a dude, he gets two actions. At the end of those actions, it goes back to your being your turn. You pick a dude, you get two actions, move on. Mm-hmm. And if you if there's anything you want to do with your dude, there's probably a rule for it. That's cool. That's awesome. So and it I, and I it's also, all mission based. It's great. I also love that how we're like in like we're big 40k fans. Love the love the lore, love everything else. Like if somebody's really big in like Tolkien, they're like, I want to go live in the Shire. Anybody who's like a 40 gay fan is like, I do not want to fucking. Nobody wants to live in that universe near yeah. that universe. Nope. I, if all of a sudden I wake up tomorrow and I'm in the 40 K hive universe and I, am I, I'm in a hive I'm city, I'll just be, yeah, I'm done. I'm out. Yeah. I'm well, out. The, the biggest thing is I'm going to get on, I make an attempt to get on a ship and find a desolate planet where nobody's going to fuck with me. And but hopefully you're going I'll to, you're going to die between your bed and the, uh, yeah, and shit, you're not going to make it because you don't have water. You yeah. barely have air, yeah. you know, I'm definitely getting off the fucking high planet. You're not going to. You're no, not going to. You're not going I play to. a game that proves you're not going to make it. Literally, the last Necromunda game I played, we were all, we we're both gangs were in a oh, city. She has a, we, have, we have a question. Oh. Oh, I was celebrating. Oh, okay. Oh, uh. so the last Necromunda, uh, I, I played her in Necromunda, my last game. Oh, did she win? And uh, yeah. Nice. So 
But the, the literally the mission we were playing is that we were uh, both in the same city to get stuff, and a, a gang war breaks out because the two gangs find out that we're both there. Well, there's denizens of that city just around, yeah. just around. Just doing life. And because we're shooting at each other, they decide they're either going to shoot back until we found out that there was kill points for just taking out civilians. <laughs> so, like, if one of her people wasn't close enough, I was just like, sucks to be you. <laughs> it, like, it was, I mean. It's so, the worst. It's the worst. <laughs> like, it's the so worst. He's like, he's like I'd just get off the hive city. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> no, you're getting murdered just getting down. Yeah. Yeah. It was like, I'm just trying to leave. <laughs> Oh shit! And yeah, where are like, you gonna go? Like, like there's like there's like so much bureaucracy to even like get that's close the problem, yeah. to the to the to the fucking port. To even yeah. get even right, like right. within sight of it, you have to go through. I'm pretty sure you have to point. fill shit out and triplicate to leave your house. Yeah, like so it's just it, this this pod, I say the house. worst place. The house. pod, you're yeah, allowed the, 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 yeah. the, the fucking yeah, the, the fucking, hab unit. Yeah, the, hab, so, the yeah. hab unit that they let they fucking. But uh, no, the game is great if you've never done it. We play on Sundays if you want to come. Yeah, and try it out. He's like, "Nah, I'm yeah. good." Yeah. See, I'm Lord. all set. Uh, only anyways, do, only do so much. So, uh, second pitch beer company. Go find them wherever the fuck. Uh, yeah, you like your be, social medias because so they're, one they're everywhere. Yeah, one thing I wanted to bring up was that since we were going to be releasing these in January, right? Uh, yeah. Probably. I'm thinking about actually pushing them out next week. Okay, so great. we're gonna we're gonna well, see how this goes. Okay, well, anyways, <laughs> but in January you're gonna find them at any of your local uh, San Antonio HEBs. So oh. as of January 23, uh, they're gonna start on January 6th, and right? But January 2023, Jan- January 2023. Yes, correct. Right, you'll be in all of the San Antonio area HEBs. HEBs the hometown logger, our award winning hometown logger, will be at most San Antonio HEBs. And uh, so if somehow important. you're a crazy early adopter of this show, uh, Port Maw. Is a mm, massive yeah. uh, event we're having here at Battle Pub, mm-hmm. uh, which is more of a beer festival with a gaming problem than it is really a game issue. Which like is a what, gaming which is what gaming is, is anyways. Yeah. Right. Uh, that's on January 21st here at Battle Pub Games. Uh, we'll be signing the autographs are, because those are just going to fucking – next year, we're not even going to talk to any of you people. No. Nah. We're going to so, get them then. So important. Get them then. It won't even matter. Yeah, it's just going to be – uh, we're going to have a velvet rope. But that's January yeah. 21st and second pitch and is, uh, is going to be hanging out and uh, yes, drinking beer and playing games. Yeah, I, I, I got, I got told time. that the other day. So that was good. Yeah. I'm excited. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. What's funny is that <laughs> I got told that you were going to be there because it, we'll have that conversation. But oh yeah, yeah. Did Kay tell you? Kay, Kay informed me you were definitely going to be there. Oh, I did not. Kay's not informed me that I was going to be there. Yeah, just so, so you know. Cool, good. I yeah. didn't know that. <laughs> I'm glad my this is how my schedule works. I get told three pe- three different people have to come to me to make sure that I'm on my schedule, which is yeah. hilarious. I don't know. I, anyways. We could end up talking business, making jokes. It doesn't matter. Yes. So, anyways, uh, thank you for listening to fucking Warhammered. Uh, thank you. All, all we're ever going to tell you to do around here is fucking drink and roll dice because yeah, uh, there's far worse things to do. Yeah. So, Cheers. do you have any words of wisdom? I don't at this point. <laughs> Read Gaunt's Ghost and read Eisenhorn. Yeah, go fucking read lore. And uh, if you're starting to listen to this, yeah. uh, we've got Facebook and Grams and yeah. Yeah. comments on this and shit. If there's a topic that you would like to listen to us idiots cover for you, yeah, yeah I'd love to actually put it, it, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, 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 extremely let us know. low detail. And I <laughs> promise you, <laughs> extremely low detail. I can con- wave top. I yeah. can Spray confirm top level. that we will spend a solid 15 minutes on Wikipedia trying to learn whatever the fuck it is about your yeah. topic. We are willing to rabbit hole any fucking topic you've got. Oh my god! As long <laughs> as Harry, as long as Harry Cavill is naked somewhere in that yeah. rabbit oh, hole. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You know, I rabbit holed sumo wrestling the other day for like six hours. I just I want to rabbit hole Henry Cavill. That's a good call. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, he's a, he's a, that's kind of like a furry. A beautiful hey, man. we don't kink shame. So I, we don't thank kink you. shame. Yeah, we don't kink shame. We I'm don't kink wolf. shame. Thank you. No, yeah. but uh, I, I will rabbit hole Henry Cavill on this show. We're trying to get Henry Cavill yeah, well, on this show. I, I, that's my offer. Can, yeah. <laughs> so I don't know if that's what he wants. Well, he's unemployed right now. So he's an actor. Ever I really think he could be unemployed forever at this point. Yeah. He'd probably be just fine. He's just yeah. okay. He's an okay guy. Which means he could come do the show. 
How yeah. fucked up is that though? And I, I know we're trying you, to wrap will, things I will up, buy but you I, a I, code. hey, yeah. I'm gonna be I'm back as being Superman. No, we're dumping you as Superman. Yeah. Hey, I I'm just gonna, quit my fucking show. I'm gonna pass on the show that is making me all the money. But yeah. <laughs> to come yeah. back and be Superman. Because I said I would carry the torch, that I would stay Superman. So I'm gonna quit the show. Yeah, well, come you're be too Superman old. for you. Wait, what? And they're, and they're like, like, No, oh, you've aged out. <laughs> what? All right, go go Fuck find you. some fucking Whatever. snowflake. Yeah. And- hey, 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 40K loves you, man. You come if back Netflix to mama. Netflix has any brain cells, they're going to be like, you want to sign this? You want to sign this? And they're just going to bring that motherfucker back in. Yeah. Well, they said today, though, they, 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 he is definitely out of Witcher. Fuck. So. That sucks. He was so good at it. And he, he loved good. the content. Yeah. That's why he was so good at it. Because he gives a shit. But it's why he'd be good at Warhammer. Because he also loves the content. There's Most another character life, he may be interested in playing. Which one's he that? He might be too old for that now, too. Which one? Bond. Bond? Yeah. No. Oh. He was up for Bond when What's-His-Face was became Bond. I'm actually excited about the new Bond. Up. Who's the new Bond? Well, they, have, they haven't said it yet. Yeah, they did. They said Idris Elba was supposed to be Bond. No, he's not. That was not. That's not a thing, no. Oh, I was I, excited Idris Elba about that. thinks he's too old. He'd be a great Bond. Idris Elba would be he's a fantastic old. Bond. He's too old. They want it. They're 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 talking right now about. They need the low thirties thing. A much, much younger Bond, and you gotta commit to like take. So you gotta get a guy who's almost gonna explode, but he's you not ready to explode yeah. to do ten years. And I don't know why you can't do other shit, but apparently whatever. So I don't know. Craig was still a fucking amazing. Bond. Yeah, he was the yeah. runner up to to Craig. To Craig. Yeah, that's a good. Well, Craig has been a fantastic. Bond. He's been a great Bond, but it's he's time. Been a great Bond. Yeah, it's time. About oh, to move on. We can get into this. Timothy Dalton's my favorite Bond. Get off my fucking shit. Get the fuck I fucking out love of him. Here. He was Fucker. so mean. He you, just killed everybody. It you was great. Charlatan, you oh. hussy, you harlot. Craig's a bitch. <laughs> That's wow. Connery and then fucking Timothy. Oh Dalton. yeah, Connery. Yeah, but yeah. Timothy Dalton. Yeah, because his Bond was a mean prick. I loved him. Those movies were all. <sighs> no, they were fucking great. They were it, Jim. Say goodbye to the people. He Bye, fucking, people. Fucking fell. Holy Benicio fuck! Del Toro into like a can't people. fade to black button. We're yeah, done. We're with done. This, this God is damn it! Awful. Talk about it. Jesus, what a letdown! <laughs> Not only that, space wolves were right. <laughs>